Today we will assemble a powerful wind generator that can power the entire house. We already assembled a wind generator in the winter, but it all ended in failure. Therefore, we decided to make new blades that are much larger than the previous ones. To do this, we found a huge sewer pipe with a diameter of 200 millimeters. It was quite difficult to get this in our city. According to my calculations, from this we will make huge 1.5 meter blades, which, even with a wind speed of 10 meters per second, will generate 1.5 kilowatts of electricity. Here is our cardboard, now we will cut out a template from it, which we will then put on the pipe and cut out our blades. This is how I do it. And now I have cool cardboard pants. Okay, I'm kidding. Here is the blade we got. The long-awaited moment has arrived, we are raising our wind generator. To prevent this structure from collapsing, we will raise it in two stages. First, let's raise the engine. It's the same, one and a half kilowatts from a bicycle, as this is ideal due to the large number of neodymium magnets and windings. So it can produce one and a half kilowatts even at very low speeds. First we put the motor on this mast and then we will put the blades. These blades are so huge, 1.5 meters. This is the most interesting moment. The keyboards will create special vortices and stabilize our wind generator strictly in the wind. Please note that below the wind is practically not felt, but on the roof it is very noticeable how it blows. Let me help you. Holy moly, what's this? What's the sound? The pipe gone down. There is a special technology for walking on the roof. There are sealed seams and we can only walk along these seams. Otherwise, you can break the ceiling of the crash and it will continue to leak later. You're going in the wrong direction. Give me a fan. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. I thought so. Take this. And here comes the moment of truth. It's just huge. Just look. Let's wind it up. This is the most difficult and crucial moment. Is everything okay with the thread? No, it's spinning because of the wind. Perfect. Now this will catch the flow. Here is the first independent rotation. Wow! What speed? You see, there is almost no wind. This is a real monster. Here is the wire that comes from this. It goes under the roof and then goes right here. Then it goes into outbuilding. I'm very interested in measuring what voltage comes out here. So, plus, minus. Connection, 37 volts. Wow, but this no load voltage under load will obviously be less, since we will connect it to a 12 volt battery. Now I have connected 790 12 volt lamps. Let's see how bright we can light them with this generator. Like this. As we can see, it shines quite well, the brightness drops, but it's better now. But apparently the generator and the load are slowing down. Overall it's beautiful, look, the gusts of wind make it shine very brightly. Fine, we made this generator to charge the battery and then power the inverter from it. So now we will try to connect the inverter. I connected two testers, this tester shows the voltage on the battery, and this one shows the charging current. It's already 14.3, the battery is almost charged, even 14.6 is coming out, this is very good. The battery here acts as a storage device, so that when there is no wind, you can use the energy stored in the battery. But 12 volts is not interesting, we're interested in 220. Let's see what we got. Okay, done. Now let's try to enable our most powerful consumer. Do it now. Here we go.
Enough, turn it off. All that remains is to fulfill my dream, that is, to power the entire house from this clean wind energy. I took two plugs from old TVs and connected them together like this. I insert one plug into the socket and the other into the inverter. As a result, we get that the energy of the inverter through the home network will be distributed to the whole house. But there is one important point. You must unscrew the plugs or turn off the switch on the meter so that the energy does not come from the city electrical network and a short circuit does not occur. Done. Here's the final touch. Let's try. Protect. It seemed ready. Now the light is shining. Let's see how everything works in the house. Everything is great. Even the fan turned on. You can fix the car. In short, everything is fine. The light is working. Let's turn on some other consumer. We check the TV. This works well. Is this cable TV? No. It's here too. Pigs. The power was even greater than we expected. There is enough energy, even with a slight wind. But when there is a strong wind, you have to dump excess energy into heat. This is a great solution. Unlike solar panels, such a generator will cost much less. In addition, this works great when the weather is cloudy for months, for example, in winter. There is only one serious drawback to a wind generator. It is absolutely useless when there is no wind. In order not to be left without electricity, we will make an energy storage device from lithium batteries. So in the next video, we want to check how safe these lithium-ion batteries are and give them a truly brutal crash test. Test. Don't miss this. Wow. Horror. Have you seen this? Subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. Your attention is the best motivation for us to make cool videos.